My research mainly focuses on human performance factors for extravehicular activities, so for the EVAs. I'm really interested in developing better suits and training for analog environments so that we can prepare future astronauts to walk on the Moon and Mars in a more safe manner with less hazards and risks to themselves. I'm really focused on just trying to develop, trying to understand the metrics of EVAs and trying to develop a better, better method. I'm here working on a project with Dr. Julie Lin Wong, which is testing the difference between 3D printed tools and regular surgical instruments. So in my little kit here, I've got some surgery equipment, and uh, these tools in particular are a good example of what we do. So these are towel clamps, and in real life, a towel clamp looks like this. This is a non-3D printed towel clamp, and you can use it to clamp towels. And in the 3D printed world, this is what a towel clamp looks like. So you can see that they look almost identical, at least functionally identical. But of course, the 3D printed tool is a little bit thicker for strength. So we test the differences between these and how fast people can do different surgical tasks. And that's what I'm researching at the moment. So my additional role is also a career geologist. In this particular role, we're simulating a habitat, roughly simulating the region of Tharsis on Mars, which is where most of the Martian volcanoes are located, like Mauna Loa here in Hawaii. And we'll be looking at different ways to distinguish the different kind of minerals and uh, petrology in the region. Uh, my individual research here involves uh, psychological and emotional adjustment to long-term confinement, such as we're experiencing here and, and uh, as would be present on a long-term space voyage. I'm uh, using measures of uh, cognitive ability as well as personality inventories and relating those to how well uh, the crew adjusts emotionally over a period of time. The emotional adjustment measures are uh, uh, measures of anxiety and depressive symptomology. I have my own plant experiment, which you can see here. I'm comparing the growth of plants, here it's lettuce and radishes, under different, different wavelengths. So red and blue, white, there. What I do um, for this experiment does not only consist of putting plants uh, under light and waiting for them to grow, but it also implies a lot of measurements. In this system, I also have diff different kind of plants, other plants, which are growing under red, blue, and green wavelength. There are some peas, some lettuce, some radishes, and tomatoes. This system mostly is here to see how cr the crew interacts with plants and how plants could be beneficial for future space missions or how plants affect the well-being of the My astronauts. primary objective here is to understand human factors behind our trash to gas project. Back at KSE, we have a reactor that uses steam reforming technology to convert waste that is estimated from the International Space Station and convert that waste into useful commodities like methane, fuel, and oxygen. Um, so here at uh, High Seas, I'm collecting all the trash, I'm looking at how often the crew uh, generates trash, what a, a waste profile would look like for a long duration mission, and then we're actually taking our waste and doing what they do on the International Space Station and making waste footballs. And what that involves is compressing our trash and wrapping it in duct tape um, to reduce the volume of our trash. Since I found out about being selected for this crew, we didn't have enough time to build and generate our own reactor to have out here during this quick turnaround four-month mission. But the idea is that future missions can possibly have um, a reactor that will uh, compost their waste into electrical energy. And uh, Right now, since we don't have a reactor here, um, there's one at KSC, and I'm actually sending them all of the data and the mass and the composition and the volume so that they can run it in our reactor there, and we can get live data um, on how fast our trash is processed based on a similar reactor design. Because right now on ISS, they take the trash and they put it into cargo transfer bags and then ship it out in a uh, vehicle and burn it up in Earth's atmosphere. But on a long duration mission, um, we want to be able to use our waste to produce useful fuels. So, this is where our trash is being stored. You can see we've 
hand compacted the waste, and this is actually what would be fed into our reactor back at KSE. One is a gas met FTIR that stands for Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy Analyzer. It detects um, concentrations of organic and inorganic compounds. Um, here at the High Seas Mission, we have about 25 volatile organic compounds that I'm going to be studying inside of our trash and waste storage area, inside the shipping container, um, the levels inside of our living room, uh, the bathrooms, and also the area where uh, Lucy Poulet is growing her plants so that we can see if there are decreases in VOCs from the plants growing. Next, we have um, this geotechnical tool that KSC Swamp Works fabricated and is based off of an Apollo design and it measures the soil cohesion. You press it onto the soil and you spin this top dial and you get a reading and based off of that reading and the number of weights that you stack on here on the soil you can then go and back calculate that cohesion uh, factor and that depends on the consistency of the soil, um, how packed the soil is, and the saturation content. And the idea here is to um, advance the design for when you're in a spacesuit.